In this video we're going to look at the mail merge feature in REI Master. Mail merging allows you to personalize your standard documents, there will be no more overtyping of information for documents to different recipients and allows you to create multiple copies of the same document to different recipients. In REI Master you go to the setup drop down list, enter mail merge documents, over here on the right hand side you select which records you want to merge information to. We're going to merge one to a tenant record. From there we then decide whether we're going to create a new template for mail merge from a blank document or if we're going to add an existing one. I have an existing one that I'm going to add in where I'm just going to replace some of the fields with mail merge fields. I highlight my record where I find it and select open. I get my information showing here. And what we're going to replace in here is the highlighted or bolded ones that I've got showing here. So the date, the description of the property address, the first name of our tenant and down here the reference for their payments that they put into our trust account there. So what I need to do with that is replace these of course with merge fields. So I'll start with this particular one. I'm going to replace this with the property description. So I'm just going to highlight and delete that. I have my cursor placed where I wish it to insert the merge field and you can see up the top here a toolbar that shows for your information for merge data. We're selecting this one here which shows us the insert merge fields. If you're using a different version of Word you will find that your toolbar may look slightly different but what you're looking for is to insert the merge field screen here and you're looking at then at database fields from out of ARIA Master itself. So as I mentioned the one I'm looking for here is the property description field. If I just scroll down here property description is the one I need. If I select insert here it will then insert that little mail merge field as required. If I close that one there again I'll highlight and delete the first name there. I'm then going to select my merge field of course again for the first name of my tenant and insert I also then down here want to replace this one here with the BPAY or credit reference field. Again click on to insert a merge field and the one I'm looking for here is the direct credit or BPAY number field. So insert that there and again close. I'll just bold and italic these ones as well. We also want to replace the date showing here so that it picks up the date when we merge the document. So with that one there again we'll just delete that there. This time we're not going to use a merge field because the date is one that's available in Word itself. So under the insert select the date and time option here and obviously pick the format of how you want your date to appear. Say OK on that one there. It doesn't look too dissimilar of course but it is now a merge field as part of the Word document. So with that one there, when we go to close out of that one, it asks if we want to save it. Of course the answer is yes because we've made some modifications to it. We should now find we've got our template sitting here under the tenant list of documents that we can merge to. So we'll close out of there. We'll go and have a look at our list of tenants here. and We'll pick a record to merge to. Under the tasks and notes tab here and the add new drop down list, we're going to select word document. We then presented with that particular document that we just emerged recently and we highlight and select merge. The document that comes up in front of you there will now have the merge information in it. You may find in some cases that you will still see the merge fields. If so, find the little ABC button here that is the option to view the merge data or on other versions of Word it may be listed as a preview results button. When you click on there you'll see that it'll show you the information that has been merged through to that letter there. So we can see there the current date, the property description information, the first name and our BPAY credit or reference number showing there as well. What you'll also see at the top here is that the letter has a title with the date and time on it and when I go to close out of this record it will ask if I want to save it into the document management system. I'll say yes to that there and what it means is that that document with the merged information in it has now been saved in a folder linked to this tenant. So again in the tasks and notes here under the open folder option 
we can see here a saved copy of that merged document there if I open it up you'll see it has all that information in as we saw earlier so you'll always have an electronic copy of this document available to you linked to the tenant area the other way of accessing or merging information is to do with multiple records and if we go back to our list here of tenants if I highlight the first tenant pick up three or so in the list there if I right click on the highlighted area I have the option here to mail merge and in doing so again I'm presented with the screen to select the letter I want to merge to or the document I want to merge to when I merge this time again again we may need to um, click on the ABC button or preview results in order to see the merged information but you'll see here this is the first record for Mr Abbott showing in there if I use my page turner at the top here to see the next record one for Julia Gillard and my third one there for Mr Robert James showing in there again all of these when I close out ask if I want to save them to the document management system if I say yes each of those merged documents have now been saved to each of the three individual tenant areas so quickly again under the individual tenant and tasks and notes if you click on an open folder option there you can see a copy of that merged document sitting there now so in this video we have looked at creating a merged document and how we access those through the list of tenants or records that you're merging to. We've also allowed you to save a copy of the merged document into the document management system within the ARIA Master Program.